Trevor, please turn and make your vow to your bride. Oh, I was doing it. Today, the two will become one before both God and man, united not by human strength, but God's almighty hand. I pledge to you my life, my all, which God has given me. To imitate our Lord in love, tis this I vow to thee. Today, until my breath departs in sickness and in health, I vow to you my care and love in poverty or wealth. I take you now to be my wife, to hold through fire and rain, to love, to feed, to guide, to lead through all life's joys and pains. As Christ will never leave his church, his holy blood-bought bride, this covenant I'll keep with you, never to leave your side. Paula, please read your vows to your husband. Shucks. <laughs> Trevor John, I can't imagine another imperfect man more perfect for me. Thank you, thank you for choosing me. It will be my greatest honor to seek to bless you every day for the rest of our short lives this side of eternity. With God's help, I will seek to be satisfied in his love every day before I seek comfort in your love. After him, I will prioritize our relationship above all other relationships. By God's power, I will have eyes for you and you alone, and I will do whatever it takes to remain exclusively faithful to you, both physically and emotionally. By God's power, I will joyfully submit to your leadership as unto him in all areas of life. By God's grace, I will always seek to outdo you in showing honor, and I will respect you in the way I talk about you with others. With God's help, I will daily choose contentment and gratitude over complaining and bitterness, and I will do everything in my power to never take you for granted. With God's help, I will hold no part of myself back from you, and at the same time, I'll do everything I can not to overwhelm you. And because of his immense grace toward me, I promise to never, ever divorce you, regardless of the circumstances. <laughs> 